learning objectives include what is conjugation. Uh, conjugation is another lateral gene transfer from uh, one organism to, an, to the other. It is mediated by a plasmid. Plasmid basically is an extra chromosomal circular DNA fragment which can replicate independently of chromosomes. It is also uh, good to know that genes of the plasmids are not necessary for the survival of the bacterium or the organisms, but it is beneficial. Beneficial in a sense that most of the time what we see on the plasmid are the genes that, are, that gives the resistance to the bacterium against antibiotics. So those organisms can live better in the presence of antibacterial agents. Conjugation requires direct cell-to-cell -cell, uh, contact. As you can see here in this picture, this is an organism which is connected to another organism through a long tube. And this long tube is called sex pilus. Now, those organisms that have the ability to make this tube, which is sex pilus, or pili is the plural, they are called F plus cells or F positive cells, F plus cells. F basically is the fertility plasmid that was studied for the first time. So scientists noticed that those cells that have this plus plasmid in them, they can make uh, or synthesize sex pilus, which contacts another cell which does not have that fertility or have plasmid factor. And F positive cells can then inject or transfer its plasmid from this bacterium to, which is called the donor bacterium here, to a recipient, which is F negative cell. Gram negative cells have sex pili. Gram positive cells secrete sticky surface molecules that brings two cells together. And this phenomenon of transfer of genes can happen in them as well. Now, conjugation, these plasmids are transmissible from one bacterium to another during conjugation. We know that. And what happens is that the plasmid is replicated. You know, how this transfer of plasmid happens from one bacterium to the other, that the F positive or F plus donor cell that has the plasmid, it replicates its, its uh, plasmid and sends one copy of uh, the plasmid to the other through that uh, sex pilus. And then that copy, uh, using itself as a template, uh, it is duplicated. So uh, a complementary copy is then synthesized both in the original uh, F positive cells and also in the F negative cells, which now would become F positive as well. So here is a schematic diagram representing the same things. This is a F factor, which basically is a plasmid. This is a conjugal junction, basically sex pilus. And this plasmid would duplicate, replicate, and send it its one copy to the other. And then this is a F positive cell. This is F negative cell. And when it sends one copy there, that copy gets duplicated. Uh, so this is how F negative cell acquires this plasmid and becomes F positive cell. If you watch this video, uh, it'll be more clear to you. E. coli cells containing an F factor, also termed the fertility factor or F plasmid, are capable of forming proteinaceous rod-like structures called conjugation pili or sex pili. Cells containing an F factor are called F plus cells and serve as DNA donors during conjugation. Cells lacking the F plasmid are F minus cells and serve as DNA recipients during conjugation. At the start of conjugation, a conjugation pilus extends from an F-plus cell to an F-minus cell and pulls the cells together. The cells come together and stabilize, probably through fusion of their cell membranes. The transfer of DNA begins. A single-stranded copy of the F-factor is transferred from the F-plus cell to the F-minus cell. Each cell synthesizes a complementary strand of the plasmid, resulting in a complete copy of the plasmid in each cell. After conjugation, both cells contain a copy of the F-factor. Therefore, 
Both cells are now F plus cells and can go on to initiate conjugation with other F minus cells. So, in summary, conjugation is another uh, method by which genes could be transferred from one bacterium to the other.